Me and my wife, we went to a dealership last month to try and purchase a vehicle. And it's been over a month since we've been there, and we keep getting these rejection letters from loan agencies on behalf of the dealership. And we didn't authorize all these credit checks. When we walked in there, my credit was 625 and my wife's was 640. And as of right now, both of our credit scores have dropped below 550. Is there any legal action I can take against the dealership? Well, I think that's a question of first contract. You know, uh, when you went into the dealership, uh, did you, when you signed the financing papers and allowed them to check your credit, did it have language in there that they can continue to check your credit to find a way to get you approved? I think that's the first question we have to ask ourselves. If that's not true, uh, then we have to ask ourselves, have you been damaged? And if your credit score was one thing and now it's another because it's been hit so many times and that's lowered your credit score, then you could have damages. So now you're left uh, with a cause of action, so to speak, or a potential case there, do you know? Yeah, like if your interest rate is going to be higher, then that, that would be your measure of damages. And again, you're gonna have to weigh that with uh, how much it would cost to litigate that as, as uh, to paying an attorney to go forward. Right. And that's a, that's a question when, when, when you have a breach of contract type of question or a question like that, uh, that's, a, that's, that's an issue where you're gonna probably have to pay the lawyer by the hour. You're probably gonna have to pay a retainer of some amount of money that they work against while they're working on your case, and then they need, may need uh, more uh, money to uh, continue on in the case. Uh, so it can get, like Dino said, it can get very costly very quickly when you get into those issues. Okay, so it might be just one of those things that he could maybe talk to them or get that paperwork that he signed and maybe look at that? Sure, you know, there's uh, other options out there. He can call the, the car dealership and say, what, what's going on here? That's number one. He can call a credit reporting agency and say, what's going on here? That's number two. Or like we talked about, uh, lawyer up.